This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. Is Hulu going ad free? Is Google's reborn Google TV just around the corner? And are a slew of hot smartphones set to heat up the summer? It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Noah Kravitz, editor at large for Techno Buffalo. And this is the Rumor Roundup for today, Friday, August 5th, 2011. First off, a tweet. Yeah, it's always tweets causing these rumors. A tweet from the official Hulu support account has people wondering if the online TV service is gearing up to launch another pricing plan, this one without ads. Now, if you remember from a couple episodes ago, Hulu's on the sale block right now. Everybody from Apple to, uh, I don't know, Netflix, Microsoft, lots of people's names, lots of companies' names are being bandied about as potential buyers for the company. But so far, nobody has stepped up and paid the price. In the meantime, Hulu support has been busy on Twitter answering customer questions and complaints about all those ads that show up in TV shows that they're already paying $7.99 a month for on Hulu Plus. Well, one of the responses let people know that Hulu is apparently considering a new pricing tier that would be ad-free. Now, it was just a couple months ago that Hulu knocked the price of Hulu Plus down from 10 bucks a month to 7.99, so maybe they'll reinstitute the 9.99 a month plan, but have it be totally ad-free, which I personally would like. I can't stand, especially because the online ads, it's not just Hulu, but ads on online TV, oftentimes you'll see the same ad every time. So it's bad enough that, especially if you're paying for the content, there's no way to skip the ad. But if I have to see the same, I can't believe it's not butter ad, or whatever ad it is, no offense to I can't believe it's not butter, over and over again during an old episode of the OC, I, uh, I, can, I just can't stand it. Anyway, this also comes just days after Fox announced that they're gonna be instituting a paywall uh, to ensure that only verified cable subscribers get next day access to Fox shows online. Everybody else is gonna have to wait a few additional days. So, interesting to see what Hulu does now. They're still up for sale, but they might be considering a more expensive ad-free subscription plan. Speaking of TV, Google TV 2.0 was shown off at Google I.O. a couple months ago in San Francisco. I was there and I got a little bit of a preview of the next generation of Google TV based on Android 3.x at this point, based on Android 3 Honeycomb and everything else going on with the Android platform moving towards ice cream sandwich where tablets and phones and Google TV set-top boxes can all live in a land of happy, happy apps that work on many devices, not just one. At any rate, the original Google TV, not exactly a smashing success. It may have cost Logitech CEO his job. You can read more about that on Techno Buffalo. But the next version of Google TV looks much better. There was a, a leak earlier this week, or not really a leak, but a video of somebody who shoehorned a beta version of Honeycomb onto the current Google TV box. And apparently, Hardware manufacturers, including Sony and Logitech, are ramping up to unveil new hardware to go with Google TV 2.0. Now, the next version of the software itself will be compatible with existing boxes. So if you've got a Logitech review or you've got one of those Sony Internet TVs powered by Google, you'll be able to update your software to run the new platform. And uh, a little birdie told me that while the new hardware is still a little ways away, probably in time for this year's holiday shopping season, the new software is getting pretty close to roll out. So you might want to look into one of those $99 Logitech review boxes. The prices were just slashed if you're interested in being one of the first on the block to try out the brand new version of Google TV. And of course, what would a rumor roundup show be without a slew of mobile phone rumors? First off, a document uncovered earlier this week, apparently leaked from an internal Verizon memo regarding minimum advertised prices, has four phones on high notice for launch in the very, very near future. First up is the HTC Vigor, which looks to be HTC, if not Verizon's flagship Android phone for the rest of the year. This one's gonna have a 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon dual core processor, their new line of dual core processors with the Adreno 220 graphics processing units inside of them. And it also might have a full HD display, 1280 by 720, 
on a smartphone. Also on the document in question was a second HTC device, which is probably just a color refresh to the Incredible 2, although it does look pretty sharp in white and silver. A new LG device, which might be an updated version of the Revolution, which is an LTE-enabled Android smartphone on Verizon that was launched earlier in the year, but does not have a dual core processor. And then last but certainly not least is the fabled, the mythical, the oh where oh where are you Droid Bionic from Motorola. This phone was launched way back when at CES in January. It had everybody all excited. It just looked flat out fantastic. And then it went away. And what happened to it? And apparently it's gotten a refresh from the inside out, beefed up specs, a redesigned case, all sorts of stuff. I guess there were problems with testing with the Verizon LTE network. Who knows what exactly, ha exactly happened? But it showed up on this recent document. There's some specs kicking around. One nice thing is that it's apparently going to launch with Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread on board instead of 2.2 Froyo, which uh, if you know what that means, you know why you're excited. Um, and also now there's a Twitter account using the model number of the Bionic that's been tweeting uh, cryptic messages, probably written by some PR and marketing people, talking about the launch being imminent. So stay tuned for that, but it looks like four hot new Verizon smartphones, or three hot new phones and one refresh color of a hot phone, or a semi-hot phone, coming in the near term. You know, computer disasters eventually happen to everyone. Your computer could crash, it could get infected with a virus, you might drop it, it might get stolen, it might burn up in a fire. You never know what's gonna happen in this world. But if you get Carbonite online backup before your computer disaster, then there's no need to worry, because your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site, and it's really easy to get them back. Plus, you get anytime, anywhere access to your backed up files from any computer or on your smartphone or iPad with the free Carbonite app. With Carbonite, unlimited backup for your PC or Mac is just $59 a year. That works out to less than five bucks a month. That's what? the cost of one of those giant frappuccinos you're oh so addicted to? But when you use the offer code TECHNO to start your free 15-day trial, you'll get two months free if you decide to buy. All the details are at Carbonite.com, and remember to use the offer code TECHNO, that's T-E-C-H-N-O, to get two months free with your purchase. Also in mobile phone land, uh, the PAX, the Motorola PAX, for Sprint has been leaked recently, and this looks to be a dual core version of the Motorola Expert smartphone, which is a candy bar phone with a keyboard on the front, kind of an Android for Blackberry users. And then, of course, iPhone rumor time. The latest has iPhone 5 possibly being a much bigger deal than we expected, which means it would be as big a deal as we originally expected before our expectations were lowered possibly not launching until October instead of September, as everybody's been saying, but also apparently rumored to be already in certain carriers' hands for testing, but clad not only in a dummy body, but also in some kind of sealed briefcase that only certain people have the uh, code or the lock or the fingerprint, or whatever it is, to open up. So who knows? But if, in fact, the phone is out for testing, it could mean that a launch is just a couple weeks away, or it could mean then in the wake of the iPhone 4 antenna gate fiasco, Apple saw fit to push iPhone 5 out to carriers for testing a little bit further ahead of time. You know, that's the problem with these rumor shows. It's all rumor. We could make it up. I might have an iPhone 5 in my pocket, but I probably don't. All right, thanks again to our friends at Carbonite for sponsoring this week's episode of Rumor Roundup. That's all we got for this week. Until next time, my name's Noah. You can find out much, much more about all these and all the other stories going on in the tech world at technobuffalo.com. And of course, tune in to Ask the Buffalo and What's the Apps, new Techno Buffalo content on Revision 3 every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's three times a week. Three for Revision 3. See how that works out? Till next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.